So I think that leads us to then the accountability report. Sean, you're going to put some meat up for us. Okay, can everyone hear me okay? Sure. Tonight we are going to talk about uh, graduation and transfers of the technology will cooperate with us. Um, that is our big touchstone of student success that uh, we're held accountable to for our uh, as we move towards more of this model of uh, performance-based funding and as we move towards uh, you know, monitoring this more closely. So tonight we'll see some of the things that we put in place over time have been starting to bear fruit for the college. In this slide, we see where we started out in comparison to our peers. The green line at the top is where the leader of our path has been uh, for incoming freshman classes from 2008 through 2011, hovering around 55%. Blue line at the bottom is us. That doesn't mean we were the, the leader, of the, the loser of the pack all of those years, but uh, it shows us that even though we have been making progress, as you see since uh, the 2010 to 13 group, uh, we still have another 10 percentage points to go if we want to be uh, king of the hill. We can see with the gray line in the middle, that is the average among our peers. So over the course of the last couple of uh, cohorts of incoming students, we have uh, gotten ourselves back up to at least the uh, middle of the pack. This is how we have fared in our <coughs> major categories. The blue line again on the top is graduation combined with transfer. Green in the middle is our transfer rate, and gray at the bottom is our graduation rate. You can see from this slide that our progress owes largely to graduation rates increasing. And as you know, in the last few years, we've implemented programs to uh, help usher students through and to award them uh, automatically when they have earned their college degree but didn't petition for graduation. Uh, and again, those numbers, we had been hovering in the mid 40s of percent of graduation uh, uh, transfer, and now we have uh, improved uh, numbers for a year. The next couple of slides, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the leading indicators of later success. This bar chart shows uh, college readiness of our incoming students going back to 2009 to just last fall. After a slight dip uh, for the fall 2013 entering class, we are steadily increasing the readiness of our students when they arrive. So the uh, trip from the door into the door out is getting a little bit shorter since there's uh, less remedial need for these students, and that bodes well for time of completion. This slide shows success of students in their first year completing math successfully. And again, in the last uh, three, four years, that success rate has been improving uh, over time. We know from the published research and research that our office has done that students who complete math in their first year successfully have a much much higher uh, probability of later graduation or transfer. So um, I find these numbers encouraging. And now we are uh, approaching that 60% uh, of our incoming IPEDS cohort class is completing that successfully in the first year uh, with the college. This is a uh, slide showing two year completions. This isn't something that we've seen a lot yet, but we know that IPEDS uh, at the uh, US federal level is moving in the direction of starting to uh, take interest in two-year completion rates. And again, with our classes uh, beginning with fall 12 and fall 13, they're completing or graduating uh, at higher rates in more recent cohorts. And again, that largely is attributable to graduation in a two-year window for our entering students. Now for our students who do transfer, these are our leading transfer institutions. Uh, also among them is uh, University of Wisconsin at Parkside, Columbia College in Chicago, and Southern Illinois University. Many of these will recognize uh, Mr. Anderson as partners at the University Center, and uh, many of our students are taking advantage of that relationship. Outside the context of the uh, uh, IPEDS cohort itself, 
these are the leading disciplines that our transfer students complete in with bachelor's degree or higher. Uh, business, finance, and accounting is the largest of them. The uh, social and behavioral sciences, nursing and allied health, uh, English, uh, language and communications, and then natural sciences and uh, education are the top uh, disciplines that our students complete bachelor's with. So, uh, path forward. These, this is a list of uh, many of the programs that we put in place and that we are working diligently on, all of which we believe are helping to improve the uh, prospects of our students at completion. Um, more recently, we put in programs like the Coaching for Academic Success Program, which is one of our APRA programs, um, assigning advisors, and other programs like this that I'm sure you've heard about elsewhere. I don't want to uh, dwell on it, um, but uh, you've heard of these. And, uh, the work that my office is doing with these programs is helping them monitor the more interim types of data so that they know if their programs are helping to maintain that kind of term-to-term -term, uh, retention and within-term uh, success that ultimately leads to graduation and transfer. And in terms of some of the reporting things that are in the pipeline for us, uh, the Voluntary Framework of Accountability, this is a product of the AACC. We are a participant in that, and monitoring is going to be taking place with that group a little bit differently than we might be used to with iPads. They use three types of cohorts instead of one, so uh, uh, we can look at all of our students, not just isolate those who fall into the strict definition of the iPads cohorts, or first-time, full-time degree-seeking student. These include a group like that, but also have broader definitions that help us uh, better uh, notice how well a larger student population is doing, and as the BFA expands and becomes more popular, we'll have better benchmarking against other like institutions. Uh, IPEDS is going through some changes in the next couple of uh, rounds. IPEDS will be looking at six-year outcomes and two-year outcomes, like the one I just showed you a little bit ago. IPEDS also will be starting to look at part-time student success over time, which has been something it has not focused on. And so these may change some of the ways we report and talk about student success in the years to come. And I thought I wanted to uh, make you cognizant of that so that when time comes, you'll have to look in for more. So uh, with that, I'd like to open Yeah, let me, let me just say uh, that, Sean, if you back up the slide, the voluntary framework of accountability was created by community colleges for community colleges. IPEDS, of course, is the federal data for all of higher education institutions. And the AACC uh, has been pushing uh, the feds to use the voluntary, the VFA, which, by the way, we were in the pilot group for the VFA nationally, yes. I think, 40 colleges. So they've been pushing that data because they believe they're much better measures of what we do with the community college. Data. So as Sean said, you'll be seeing those measures as we move in. Any questions for Sean? <coughs> Sean, you uh, made reference to the uh, in IPEDS cohort in 2009 to 13. Uh, you know, just knowing that our enrollments uh, have been decreasing here at the College of County, is the cohort increasing or decreasing over that period of time? In the last few years, it has been decreasing when we had that large bubble of enrollment. Uh, we were about 1,300 or so students in that cohort. Today, we're about uh, 1,050. So yes, it has been so increasing. Our, so our beginning number, when we look at these percentages, is a little over 1,000. Yes. Um, maybe in the, in the future, when we do these, if you can maybe put a sign on the board there as far as what the, the beginning number is, that would be helpful. Because when we're looking at percentages, uh, at least I'm looking at percentages, Okay. Thank you. We have 15,000 students, right? It's a good question. We have 15,000 students, but they lock in a cohort, first time, full time, in the fall. And those students are locked into a data pool and then looked at at different points. So that's why it's 1,000 students. Because that would also then uh, have an impact if you're looking at uh, the numbers, because if the cohort is decreasing from one year to the next, however, our numbers, uh, percentages are increasing and still making less students. 
Sean, on the six-year uh, outcome, uh, which I've been reading about from AACC, uh, obviously if it's a five, four, three-year outcome, that's a success for that six-year outcome, correct? Right. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean.